about with children. Grandma shared that. Yep, my computer died. Yep. Dead computer. So I apologize to all of you, my love so dearly. Now, for the good news. As I start most of mine, I make it clear that I used to weigh 300 and 86 pounds. But thanks to doing my best, yesterday I reached 200 which I have to say I am very, very proud of. But to all of you out there who don't know, I'm Grandma Shan. I don't specifically pick on one subject. My subjects vary. It depends on how I genuinely feel about something at any particular time of the day. I'm, um, uh, Kathy, Molly, Shannon, hello, my darlings. I have your emails all stacked up in front of which I read. And Kathy, the young lady who gave uh, my name to, who watched Melody, Melanie, she seems to be a very sweet young lady and wrote me a very nice email. And for this, I appreciate it both to you for recommending me and to her for being so very kind. Now, just for the record, Chad's working very, very hard on getting down below uh, the 250 mark now. Um, my granddaughter, whom I love dearly and with my whole heart, is graduating this June from high school. She hasn't decided on what college yet because she hasn't gotten all of her answers. So, I'm hoping it's not going to be far away, but you never know. I prefer to have her a little bit closer where we can be there if she needs us. Anyway, besides all that, by my birthday, I would like to be between 2.30 and 2.35. Now, I'm going to need a little help. No, I'm going to need a lot of help. I'm at that point where the scales have to be 259 to 252, 259 to 62, and this is not good. No matter what I do, I seem to be bumping into a wall. So, I will be making probably some quick videos just to vamp a little so that I can concentrate strictly on getting to where I would like to be. I, n I don't know if um, any of you, or I don't have many watchers, but I, I don't know if many of you um, watch the bigger tubers. But if you're heavy, and you use all kinds of excuses not to lose weight, I have to cry for you. I have never done a day's exercise. I can't. But I'll tell you this. Jillian Michaels is my vitamin B once a week. Actually, I take it once a month. But she is my vitamin B once a week. Without her, I would probably be over <laughs> possibly 500 pounds by this time. But thanks to her, I am down to 259, to which I am most proud of. Now, in a couple of my videos, I stood up and let you see how humongous I was. Not at my biggest, because I don't think there was enough screen <laughs> to show you how big I was. But 
It's a recorded video of it. I'll stand up. Um, Jillian has this sort of magnetic field around her, which, if you watch her and listen to her, she's also got a heart. See, now, people that make up their own thing and do these things, they make them up, but a lot of them don't have a heart. What they have is a good brain, but no heart. And I'm not knocking all the... It's just simply stating a fact. Um, I have been on uh, Weight Watchers on and off for years and years and years and years. <laughs> Did me no good. tell you something good. I had a scale here that went up to five and a half. And for the longest time, I thought I was 368 pounds. Until a friend of mine came, who I just left the doctors, and got on my scale. And she said to me, Shannon, do you know your scale's 20 pounds off? Oh, I said, wonderful, I'm only 346 pounds. She said, no, unfortunately, I mean the other way. <laughs> so at that time I knew for sure I was 346 pounds. But um, Jillian has all the limits. I mean, she's got the heart. She's got a temper. <laughs> she understands. Now, see, that combination is hard for me. Most people don't even know. They got a heart. They don't understand. They have a heart. Other people understand that you have no heart. But this is their insane guess, guesses at things. That's it. And then, there are people that are just plain nasty when it comes to feel. I know I met up with just about everybody. A little bit disheartening to think of people like that, but they are. Oh, let's get something straight. It has taken me two years because I do not exercise to take the weight off. Two years. But that's what I was thinking of exercise. Let me tell you something else. I'll bet because it took me two years of no exercise, that my weight will stay off. Bring me to a massive flux of get rid of your weight. That satisfies you for a while. And then you think of nothing of having those extra ice creams or that extra dessert or, okay, I'm here, no problem. Working at it for five, seven months is one thing. You think, oh, well, if I lift heavy, I can do this and that. Why bother? Why bother? Here's an idea. Take the year and a half. Take it off. Work at it. You learn to appreciate it and not put it on so quickly. I might cry sometimes with it. When I hear the treadmill and I hear the thing going on and going on, I say, oh, but I wish. Oh, what are you going to do? <laughs> but I'm not sorry. I'm quite content knowing that I took it off in two years. Because I know I'm not putting it on again. No, it was taking me way too long to take off to and to apply for me to just arbitrarily say, okay, now I can have this.
this and that, this and that, that, and I was like, man, the world's been, man, you have to have such what Papa Jesus preached, which was, great you guys, you not just talk a big distance, it's like a kid, puts the bell down, turns to 18, parents say, okay, we'll buy your kid and car, be up the bus there. Six months later, they're dead. Why? Because they didn't appreciate the car. It was given to them. So, it's cheap. Now, if they had to work for that car, if they really had to put the time in to save money, plus their chihuahuas per se, to get the money for that car, they wouldn't be the ones driving at such speeds or being so careless. Because they wouldn't put their blood and sweat into it. And believe me, it is not easy for me. Because I watch some of my friends move this way for the sake of an exercise. And it helps them twice as much. I can not exercise, but I can not appreciate that great lifestyle. If you look back on some of my videos, and see this face here, <laughs> in my jowls. No, jowls. When I tell you, I have jowls. You cannot see my ears. And I mean, the back is like a little bit old. Everyone out there that has to move this way, no matter how heavy you are, Please take it from somebody who knows. This is an important factor to know. You don't always have to do what everyone else does to be heard. You don't have to make a big issue out of it. You just have to watch what you say. Who cares about other people? Some people are cruel, some people are not quite as honest as they should be. You have all kinds of people out there. You have all oh, you look lovely today, I see you wearing black. <laughs> Hello, Miss Gethead. Black makes you look better. They are complimenting you because they're not complimenting you. Then you have to have others. Oh, like you can have one with one. It isn't going to make a difference. It's, it's only one. Oh, 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 oh. What's that? Another month. <laughs> You've got to work at it. One. Life is funny. Life's strange. And as far as weight goes, which is not exactly like the best topic, but it is a topic I can discuss. When I first started making that I had when I was at my highest. And I found this one. I find that I only had one foot stick. <laughs> one. And I didn't have a choice, so I was in the hospital. And I stole it from the hospital, believe <laughs> I did. I stole it from the hospital. Just look at that picture. They don't know that now. <laughs> uh, when I find that to me now. Oh, I know a lot of you are going to look and say, wow, she's so big. How could she be so big? Okay, I'm going to make a 59 pound. I'm not saying she weighs 59 pounds. It's not a lot of weight. But let me tell you something. It is a heck of a lot better than the 396. It shall be. <laughs> Some of you move this way. You should be proud of you. Yeah, but everybody else, it does 